Let me give you a quick shortcut. Now, sometimes you need to enter today's date into a cell. So normally, when you're entering today's date, I'm not, I'm not talking about writing a formula for today's date. So today is the 20th. So instead of typing 20 October 2016 and entering, uh, well, you can see it's showing me a number because the date, date is a number actually. But um, let me just quickly format it as a date. Well, that's that's another trick. It's a format, uh, format trick. So I'm sure some people want to know exactly what I did there. And the thing is, every time you type something into a cell, um, that thing you typed in is either a number or a text. Now, dates themselves are numbers. They're hidden numbers. Excel has a hidden number in there. And to prove that to you, if you come into the date and I change this date to 2017 and I come to another cell, I can do maths. You can only do maths with numbers. So I'm saying this date minus that date, and it gives me 365. Obviously, there are 365 days between those two dates. So there definitely is a number here. But the way Excel works is it hides the number. So let me give you a song that we tell all our students when we train them about formats. So I'll give you this song. You can write it down if you like. The, the song is this. A format can never change what is in a cell. So I repeat that, a format can never change what is in a cell. It only changes what you see. And what you see is not necessarily what is in the cell. So I'll repeat that, a format can never change what is in a cell. It only changes what you see. And what you see is not necessarily what is really in the cell. So what I have in a cell here is a date, but really what is in there is a number. So if I come to my format and I delete the code, all formats have codes, by the way. So if I delete the code, which is under custom, you will now see what is really in that cell. What's really in that cell is 42663. That's the number 42663. So if I come to this cell that has a date and I type 20,000, you will see that it becomes a date. And that 20,000 basically means 20,000 days after 1st of January 1900. So anyway, I started this by saying I want to give you a, a shortcut for entering today's date. The shortcut is control semicolon. Once you do control semicolon, a date just pops out. So go to any cell and just do control and semicolon and a date comes out and you enter. So that's how you enter a date, quick way of entering a date. Thanks for watching another training video from Deep Brown Consulting. See you in the next video.